Gaza on Thursday, terror making a comeback. Two blasts that occurred in Hyderabad in the Dilsoknagar bus stand area, one of Hyderabad's most crowded areas. At least 12 people have died in those blasts and 57 have been injured. The death toll could rise as the blasts were of very high intensity. The two explosions took place uh, near the Vinkat Dari and uh, Konark theatres. Police say one bomb may have been placed on a cycle, another in a tiffin box. The Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde said the government had received an attack of an alert uh, about two days ago, but there was not enough specific information. But a police interrogation report accessed by CNIBN says specific information was provided during the interrogation of an Indian Mujahideen suspect. And in the interrogation report uh, that took place uh, in October last year, the suspect confessed of doing a recce in Dilsoknagar, which is where the area where those blasts happened. But it is not known if this uh, specific bit of information was actually passed on to the Hyderabad police. పైన <laughs> 12 dead and more than 50 injured and that death toll is expected to rise given the fact that this area is considered one of the crowded centers of Hyderabad. Uh, while the Home Minister has said that, uh, that central investigating agencies would be sending reinforcements here for further investigations, you can really see invest various investigating agencies like the NIA, the NSG Commando team as well as the AP Center, the regional octopus team here in uh, uh, here working out forensics, working out evidence here. They are collecting evidence. In fact, this is one of the two explosion sites uh, here at the Suknagar area. Remember, one happened right in front of a different center. The other was near a theater. Uh, blood splatter still here on the road. A grim reminder of what really happened. Most of those injured have been shifted to nearby hospitals. You can see really uh, burnt vehicles, evidence here of um, uh, that really uh, IED that was placed here. Remember, the DGP and the chief minister did visit the spot uh, soon after the incident. The chief minister, in fact, has announced a compensation of 6 lakh rupees to the families of those dead. He will also be holding a review meeting, we understand, early tomorrow morning to take stock of the situation. But definitely, with most of the families now there at various hospitals, it remains a grim reminder of how Hyderabad remains a soft target for terrorism. And the injured, we know, were rushed to hospitals around that area, many of them struggling to cope with the rush. Soon, social media websites like Twitter were flooded with requests for more help. 16 patients came after bomb blast for treatment in our hospital. 15 have been admitted in various ICUs. Doctors are treating them with all our equipment and all our expertise. My attention may be poor, Tukura, Deke, Varku, Pura, Bever Sogamai. Merkujbin Aimal, Konleka Gaya, Konwa, treatment the Merkujbin Aimal. As we could see the situation here at Usmania General Hospital, there are about uh, 40 victims of the Dilshuknagar blast uh, were shifted to Usmania Hospital for treatment. And most of them are now uh, being shifted to other better hospitals uh, in, in Hyderabad as there is, and there, as there is no uh, proper facility here to treat some of the serious victims. As we spoke to some, uh, some of the doctors who are giving treatment, they say that the situation is very alarming and most of the injuries are serious in nature. Coming to the investigation part of it, uh, the NAA team is uh, arriving in Hyderabad, uh, which will be joining the, uh, the police, the local police here, and they'll be conducting the investigation. And government is also expected to come up with an official uh, statement on all the uh, aspects of the twin blasts, including the investigation.